Yo guys beast, back to more PC content, and today I'm going to be doing a video over the new Juzo. So, this is a does it deserve your kaku for the new Juzo. So, first of all, let's go over rates in general. So, let's head on over into here. We're gonna go over rates, I'll explain the stats after that. But, overall, I think this banner is really, really nice. The only worry I have, though, is... If they decided to release a new birthday Kaneki or Arima... And you went for this, it could be considered as a trap. But, overall, five multis is all you need to do. And the fifth multi is a guaranteed chance of getting this new Juzo. So, if you have 250 Kaku, you drop 250 Kaku in this banner, you are guaranteed at least one of these Juzos. And the possibility of you getting a, another Juzo is, I do believe it's like a 1% chance right now. That's like the rates of 1% versus... The five percent you have of getting an SSR, or basically four percent. So, it's not the worst rates at all. Even on every single step, it's like a one percent chance. So, overall, really, really good rates. Art looks phenomenal. Let's go ahead and check out the art. Let's see if we can get the load actually. So, yeah. So, art looks absolutely phenomenal. Not even gonna lie, this art is just—it looks so nice. Now. I'm gonna, probably gonna have a like better render of it on the thumbnail, but trust me, it's just such nice art. Also, this AP is a little off because that's going if the AP boost is at 6%. But yeah, that's the art. The rates are good, but you may want to hold out just in case they release new birthday units for Arima or Kaneki. And even if they don't, then maybe or even if they don't you may want to still summon for arima so if you have 250 kaku to spare go for it this juzo is not bad but anyway so you're not here for me to tell you to go for it without having any facts to base it up so let's go ahead and read our stats off though or his stats my bad uh and it is he go watch the anime fight me anyway so basically i'm gonna start off by reading his level one skill I'm going to read his abilities, and I'm also going to read his stats. So first things first, his stats, it's 6.1k HP basically, well 6,185, but you get it. 990 attack and 660 defense, 8 durability, and 10 AP. Now you're wondering why I'm saying 10 AP, it's because the unique ability is giving that 6 there. That's right, the unique ability is plus 6 AP, the first ability is increased dodge rate by 35%. Let's quickly get into that, I want to see that. Okay. Increased dodge rate by 35%. The second one is increased crit rate by 20%. The third one deals 1.7 times damage to ghouls. The third, fourth one deals 1.7 times damage to blue units. So, pretty stacked there in the last two. Though everything else also makes her phen or him phenomenal. So, good, good unit so far. Let's get on into his skill. Not going to say he's not that good, I'm just going to say he's still not hitting at the Black Reaper or Takizawa level. Well, Takizawa it's questionable, but Black Reaper level, no. This Juzo, he does not hit at the Takizawa level. So, first of all, level 1 skill. For 2 turns, increase your own attack by 1.5 times. That's dope. Hit one enemy 6 times for 1.6 times damage, and minus 6 durability. So, lowers durability a good amount, hits the enemy for damage, and increases his own attack by 1.5 times. So, self booster, hits hard on the enemy, and lowers durability by 6, though it's probably only going to be the one unit, once again, for its level 1 skill, so you only need to pull one dupe of this unit, and it's already doing pretty alright, that's not bad, I would love to have this unit right now. So, the next thing to go over real quickly, oh, and by the way, it is green typing, and uh, if you don't have the Amon, I'd go for this, like hardcore go for this, if you have the 250 Kaku, now if you don't, and your spare song Kaku, I don't, I don't think I'd go for any banner unless it was a specific one you were saving for. But you know what I'm talking about. 250 Kaku into this banner would be a very, very good deal because it's a 100% chance of getting her. But anyway, so for level 2, 3 turns, increase on attack by 1.5 times, hit enemy 7 times for 1.7 times damage, and negative 7 durability. And it just continuously goes up from there. At the level 4, it's 4 or 3 turns, increase on attack by 1.75 times. Hits one enemy 8 times for 1.8 times damage and may get 8 durability. Also, for 3 turns, reduces one enemy's attack 2.6. So, debuffs the enemy, does good damage, lowers durability by 8, increases on attack, so it's a self buffer. I'm saying this Juzo is sounding pretty snazzalazin at level 4. And in general, it's a snazzalazin unit. It's a very, very good unit. However, be careful. Cautiously optimistic. I guess just if you're if you're a free play, maybe 
you want to hold off on this banner as hard as it is to say this because it's a very very tempting banner because of the fact that they could be releasing new birthday units for Ko I don't know for Kaneki and Arima because Kaneki and Arima are kind of the hype points of units in general when it comes to you know units in general but they may go ahead and release new B-Day units for Kaneki and Arima because the current ones we have are kind of out of date and Kaneki and Arima are kind of hype units in general and they may be trying to get you to summon on this so then when a new Kaneki or a new birthday armor release you go oh my god I have to have them and have to go buy more Kaki so that's something to keep in mind but let me get back to the level 5 skill 3 turns increase on attack by 2 times so doubles its own attack the incident gets a skill off hits one enemy 8 times for 1.8 times damage and negative 8 durability and for 3 turns reduces one enemy's attack to 0.4 times so the enemy's gonna be doing less damage to you the enemy's gonna be broken more than likely, if it's the one that's getting the durability down on, it's going to be taking a lot of damage, if not dead, and you are going to be doing double the damage. So, I'm going to say, if that isn't a good skill, I don't know what it is. Really, really, really good tech, or really, really, really good speed slash green unit. So, if you have 250 Kaku to spare, go for this girl, or boy. This boy is killer. And once again, up the anime. It's a boy. It's stated even. But anyway. Oh, in the manga. But you know what I'm saying? Anyway. So, overall, really, really good banner. Really good unit. But it could be a trap so that you mess up and don't have Kaku for the birthday Kaneki or birthday Armia. This should be here. Also, another thing to note is this banner ends on the 18th. If you remember, Kaneki and Armia's birthday is on the 20th. And they usually like to release birthday banners a day before. So, it really does seem kind of trapped. Like, it seems really, really fish, even though it's a really, really good unit. So, if you're, buy if you're buying Kaku, buy the Kaku for this. Go ahead and summon for her. Or him. He's really good. I swear. Pronouns are stupid. I don't I don't care. I'm going to just say Juzo the entire time. But then you're going to be like, well, why would you say Juzo 10 million times? Anyway, fight me. I'm out. Thank you so much for watching. Leave a like on the video if you did enjoy it. And keep it beast mode. I'm out. I'll see you.